That's not the that's, position of Scripture, Mike. Mike, you, wait if a second, argue, you guys aren't really Christian letting Mike God. get through his argument. Mike, if it's, you're going to argue against a Christian God, you can't. You that can't God is all powerful. Love that's wait not the second, Christian Wait view. a second. Is it not the position of Scripture that God is omnipotent? Yes. Okay, but but when you ask a Christian, he'll start placing restrictions. God is omnipotent. But he's no, only omnipotent if restriction. it can wait a second. He's only can he make a square circle? God is logical. Well, there you go. He's only omnipotent <laughs> if it so can God, so his, God, if Michael, Michael, God can't defeat himself, thus he's not God. You change let me is, make God my is point. Consistent. So, you, so if God can't be consistent, then he's not God. Listen, so, God is, so he is okay. consistent. Okay, then I can say, listen, uh, a door is all powerful because it's consistent with its own nature, and its nature is just to sit there. That's a, that's exactly the same thing. If you say God is all powerful, then you, you want to debate that, Michael. You want to debate your door versus the God of Scripture. Well, it's it's the same thing. It's exactly that's your worldview. If you say, view? If you say view, wait a second, can you let me finish? You just can abandon I finish no, point? it's a hypothetical, mm -hmm. dude. Let him finish. If you well, say God is all all powerful, but he has to. It's a, he has to be consistent with his own nature. Okay, well, I can say the same thing about. Uh, uh, G man, you you muted Michael, but it's a meaningless oh, statement. It doesn't mean anything when you start placing restrictions on. Well, God is all powerful if he is consistent with his nature. Okay, well, a door is all powerful if it's consistent with his nature. It takes away all meaning from all powerful. You, you, a, believe, you believe, Michael, you believe a door is all-powerful? If you want to you, debate that, you can go ahead and put that forward. And did, did, did you not understand what I said? I, I, I understand Obviously you've you abandoned, I understand you've abandoned your atheism to argue for a door. <laughs> this is hilarious, man. No, I don't it think is, you understood what hilarious. you said. Well, we, we've got a book. We've got a book full of 66 books. Over uh, 1,400 years, 40 different authors uh, with all kinds of archaeology um, proof and uh, fulfilled prophecies. And uh, you've got a door. You're going to argue for wow. a door. You just made how many assertions there? They're supported with Scripture. And ended oh, with a straw man. Yeah, do you, do you think, Michael, do you think the Bible is true or not? I don't know. There, there could be true things in the Bible. It doesn't mean it's all truth. What is what your standard mean? of truth? What is my standard? What is your standard of truth? Scripture. Scripture? Mm hmm How does that make sense at all? Well, without it, you can't make sense of anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my... The, descended into presupposition. All you can do is make blanket assertions. That's it. Without any what's your, what's your Michael, what's your standard of truth? How do you know what's true? If you can give me a standard of truth without making assertions, then I'll give you my standard of truth without making assertions. My standard of truth is Scripture, and if the God of hey. Scripture is not in existence, then we cannot know so anything. We're Your left standard with of truth is scripture because in scripture it pretty says the standard of truth. That's pretty circular, man. Well, how do you know? Truth is that which is demonstrable. Oh, so the only way you can answer is with a question. That's it. So, so you're right because you're gonna ask me how can I? You see how that makes how, no sense. How do you know anything is true, Michael? Can you, you you're justify truth scripture or not? Can you justify scripture or not? Absolutely. Well, show scripture, it. If show scripture it. is if if Without God is being not circular. If God is not existent, if Scripture is false, then you can't know anything at all. That's three assertions, no justification. How do you know that's an assertion, Michael? You, can you justify anything without asking how do you know? Can, or can do you, you want to just go back and forth asking each other how we know things? Michael, Michael, how do you know that your reasoning is valid at all? <laughs> how do you know your reasoning is valid at all? Okay, I can I can answer that. That's an excellent question. Okay, the reason why I the reason why I can justify my reasoning mm -hmm. is because there is an all-knowing knower, knower. Okay. God, a creator God who created all things and he created mankind to a certain extent in his own image. Okay. In such a way that we can understand certain things. Okay, let me tell Without you you just did. Without you just made 
countless assertions with no justification. How do you know your reasoning about this God is invalid? It, it, it's, I don't know that it's, it's not, valid. It's valid. How do you know you're not thinking, hey, God can let me know things for certain, okay, and it's okay, all Mike, a delusion. Okay, Mike, wait, wait, okay, wait, wait. Mike, let him answer this okay, question. Wait, okay, wait, wait. Okay, Mike, don't Mike, save him. Mike, don't Mike, save him. Mike, Mike, you are in my room, Mike, and you need to start listening or I'm going to kick your butt out of here. I'm not playing no more. Okay. Yeah, he, he needs to allow a, a, a regular conversation to go back and forth. I just let you finish talking, and I asked you a question. Okay, Mike. Mike, this is how it's going to go, Mike. Mike, this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a dialogue with the Bible thumping wingman. You're, you're, you're going to let him finish his statement. If I you can't him. do that, have a nice evening, and I'm not playing I this time. Okay? I let him finish his statement, and I asked him a question. You've been warned. You You've been warned. Him. You will be you, – uh, this is my Google Hangout. One at a time, or I'm going to kick you out of here. The other people here that want to talk. Okay, well, let them talk. Let them talk. I'm not going to take up all the time. How, hey, do you, how do you know? A, let, hey, I let thing. you finish. Let me ask my question. Oh, you did let me finish? Okay. You did. You made your point, did you not? I am asking you, how do you know that your reasoning about this God letting you know things for certain is an invalid? How do you know you are not deluded about this God letting you know things for certain? Okay, let me answer and point out, first and foremost, that before you ask that question... You said that I answered that question. You do realize that? Yeah, with three assertions and no justification. That's how you answered the question. Answered it with some justification. Oh and then we okay. can... Uh, I, right. I can do that, Michael. I can do that, Michael. All right, let's see. The justification is this. If there is not a creator God who created us in his image for his purposes so that he would be glorified, so that we would know that we're sinners and that he came and died on a cross for us so that everyone who would repent and trust him as Savior would be reconciled to him, receive forgiveness. If that is not true, if scripture is not true, then we have absolutely no justification for any knowledge claims. And here's the point, Michael, okay? If we say that that God does not exist, then we're left in absurdity. And if if I examine your worldview and your basis for how you know anything, we will find out that we are left to absolute absurdity because we can know nothing for certain because there's no standard for truth. There's no standard for knowledge. There's no, there's no standard for discovering what reality is. That is the proof that God exists. You have just made again assertions. You haven't justified nothing. You have just chased your own tail. You just went in circles. You justified nothing. Oh, you said, well, okay. God exists because God, God has to exist. Okay, God so let's get some different people in this conversation. No, Why Mike, you you've spoken me? enough, Mike. Mike you, no, Mike, no, no, Mike. you keep interrupting Mike, me. Uh, Mike, I just, I just want the people guess. to see this man will not let somebody finish talking. Hey, see you later, Mike. <laughs> G-Man, let me, let me say something, G-Man, and I'll, I'll go to bed because i, I got to get up in the morning. Thanks for letting me come in. I really hope the best for everybody in here, believers and non-believers. Uh, have a good night, and see you later. Take care.